Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do some complex numbers on this particular Casio FX8200 AU calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for the first uh, kind of couple of questions here, I'm going to be working in degrees here. I want to show you folks how you can go from rectangle form to polar form. So here we've got 2 plus 2i and I want to convert this to polar form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch on the calculator uh, let's go into home menu go into calculate actually no we're doing complex so let's actually go into complex mode there and once you're here there's a couple of things you need to be mindful of now the first thing is the first two questions I'm going to be doing in degrees so the angle mode is in degrees right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 2 plus 2i and to find the i I need to do shift 9 so that's going to be 2 plus 2i and if I press equals Right now, this is giving to me in rectangle form, and I would like to change this to polar form. So what I need to do is I can click on settings and go into calc settings and navigate my way down to complex result. And I want to change from rectangular form to polar form. And by doing this, if I go back and I do 2 plus 2i and I press equals, I am going to get the answer in polar form which is 2 root 2 and that little kind of funny looking angle that you see there that is just sys so this would become sys 45 how about going backwards from polar form to rectangle we want to go from 3 sys 60 to rectangular form so to do that we're going to go 3 but obviously we need to figure out that symbol for sys which is that little arrow and where are we going to find it that's basically in catalog so if you go into catalog and in complex, and if you navigate your way down, you're going to see the little arrow. That's the sys button right there. And we're going to go 60 and we're going to press equals. Now, remember that the calculator was set at polar form. We want to change this to rectangular form. So we're going to click on settings, go down to calc settings, and we're going to go down to complex result and change it back to rectangular form so that when we do 3 sys 60 and if we press equals we're going to get this complex number here now obviously you, you can write this out in fractions and third form if you'd like this in decimal you can actually just go shift and equals and that should give you 1.5 plus 2.6 i now of course if you are working in the exams obviously you want to actually keep this in this particular format because you don't want to round up too early with these types of questions here all right next up we've got 3 minus 3i and we want to actually do this in radians this time so what we need to do is make sure that our calculator is in radians so we're going to click on settings calc settings we're going to go to angle unit and we're going to change that to radians we're going to come back and so we've got 3 minus 3i and of course, I forgot to put this in polar form. So I am going to go to settings, calc settings, and I want to change this complex number to Arsis theta, which is the polar form. And I'm going to go back and do 3 minus 3i. And here I've got 3 root 2, sys negative pi over 4. And for the last question, we've got 4 sys pi over 4. And we want to actually convert this to rectangular form. So what I need to do is make sure that my calculator settings for complex is in rectangle form. Now I'm going to go back to my main page and I've got four sys. Now to get the sys button, we need to go to catalog, complex, and you would find that little arrow, which is the sys button. And we've got pi over four. So I'm going to put that in brackets there. Shift pi over four there we go so that's four sys pi over four and when i press equals i am going to get two root two plus two root two i now there's a couple of other features that's actually worth noticing as well but i mean if you're confident with complex numbers you kind of will or you don't really need to use this but say for example you've got catalog you can go to complex you can actually get just the argument by itself or just the real part in imaginary and conjugate as well. Like, so if you ever forget what the conjugate is, so you can just go conjugate and then you can go 2 plus 3i 
the conjugate of that is 2 minus 3i and that should pop up right there and that's just a real quick summary of how to work with complex numbers on this particular Casio FX8200AU calculator.